Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Well, these liberal cities are letting the kids run the household, that's for sure. So, mm -hmm. um, we and I, you know, I don't know how you stop this. I don't know how you stop this without... Uh, the thing it physically, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, you have to do it the old fashioned way. I'm sorry. Well, but once we yeah. go, the, the problem Wait. the problem with that is once we go there, that's not um, a thing that we're gonna easily step back from. And maybe those guys on that side are not, uh, don't pay as much attention to this as we do, are not as knowledgeable, don't uh, do as much training or whatever it is we're alluding to here. But it's not an easy thing. To step back from maybe one day we're going to have to go there i mean when that when that thing the statement that you made i won't comply when that truly has to get cashed in we'll be there when when we'll when be the, at that point when the, when the when the when the civilians show up to counter the protesters i don't know if you want yeah. that yeah i don't know if you want that <laughs> the problem with the civilians showing up to uh counter the protesters is that the civilians will become the bad guys there will be called right-wing extremists they'll be called uh kkk so you're gonna get called that anyways where you are you're gonna be kkk <laughs> well and you <laughs> know you what go, bring it on no. mm -hmm. you know there comes a time when you just have to say it's bull you, yeah it's like people say trump is not presidential well guess what you know he's not gonna take it mm -hmm. you know he all these other presidents like bush he did he got pooped on for years he's stupid he's a drunk he's this he's that and he just oh, oh yeah okay I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take it yeah trump ain't gonna take that crap so and people aren't, aren't used to that yeah i mean not to pull it away from trump but to pull it back to the whole point of this which is relative to trump i'm gonna segue that trump kind of like took over the republican party one because it was rife ripe to be taken over two because he did something different <laughs> Nobody. You know, lots of other Republicans out there, they won't get on Twitter. They won't actually they won't engage with fight people. Back. Yeah. They won't fight back. You That's can what we need to do. You all day long. You can stand and just pee on them. And they just, oh, stop it. Please stop it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's know. what we need to do. I think that's what Diane is saying here. We need to, if you've got Moms Demand Action, there should be a well-funded pro-Second Amendment, pro-gun, um, you know, organization the DC oh. project that you know we should we have to figure out how to fund these things and be able to push back because on it, our side on our side I think the firearms industry as a whole and a lot of people that. included in, in this thing of the gun community we're not aware of things you're just getting people on Facebook or being aware of the of YouTube uh, there's so many things going on here and we don't understand the valuable tools that we're losing later on we'll talk about this because I know we have a limited time with Diana but so for example gun streamer announced yesterday they're shutting down you know the reason why they're shutting down no right, money no, reason why they're yeah, down. no support <laughs> from the gun community so they're shutting down and and uh diana i don't know if you're aware of gun streamer but basically it is a um a pro second amendment platform like youtube that I'm on, lots of Walters on there, lots of folks out here are on that platform, and there was no support for it. And and this is exactly what you're saying. You need more support. All these organ before we left this all up to the NRA. Right. That kind of imploded. Yeah, and, and all we see now still is Wayne Lapierre's face, which I'm so tired of. Seeing well, this is the Lapierre's problem. Face. If you think about how many gun owners we have in America, we should be. If everyone just did their part, we should have been fine in terms of funding, but there's too many gun owners in America who don't take that step to care about their Second Amendment because, oh, well, maybe they're not AR people, you know, maybe they're just shotgun people, mm -hmm. and they're not thinking they're going to eventually come for that too. So, for instance, we had um, a, an event called National Range Day a few weeks ago, and uh, my husband and I attended to show mm -hmm. our support in the local community, and they were giving, uh, it was like an all-day seminar thing and then a range time. And there was a room full of new gun owners. And I made sure, even though I was not the person up there speaking, um, when there was an opportunity, I made sure to just, you know, speak up and say, hey, by the way, you guys are all, you know, new new gun owners now. You need to make sure that you donate to organizations um, like, you know, gun policy and all these things so that you make sure 
that you are on top of what's going on, you're aware of the bills that they're trying to pass, and you have to stay involved because if not, they're going to take away these rights that you just began to you. So it's really important with these new gun owners that we have coming in to talk about those things in addition to, you know, how to safely use a firearm and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. How many gun owners do we think we actually have out there? What's the number in America? What are we like 350 million, 370 million? What do we think the number of gun owners are? 100 to 150 million. 100 to 150. What do you think, Walt? Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay. Um, so we should be able to fund some of this stuff. What's What's happening here? Were we all just relying? Was everyone not just giving those, their money to the NRA and not all those gun owners? Not all those gun owners are on this side. Okay. Right. There's a lot. There's a lot of leftists that own guns too, mm -hmm. and they okay. they're not gonna they're not gonna give money to any of these groups. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of you know, and that's one of the things that we try to push as uh, the DC project is we're nonpartisan. So. Mm -hmm. um, we, we recognize that there are Democrats. I mean, that's really the only reason that we still have a Second Amendment is because if, if this atmosphere were 20 years ago, uh, we would have already lost, you know. And that's what I'm concerned is that there are some old school uh, Democrats that understand that this is a constitutional issue. This is not a partisan issue. But it, it has become so lockstep with the Democratic Party that uh, it's it's they will be ostracized if anybody uh, sticks their neck out. But they might vote. They might still vote for, uh, you know, some pro-gun legislation or not vote for anti-gun legislation. But um, it, it has definitely in the past 20 years moved in that direction that it's a partisan issue. Yeah. Uh, but we do have gun owners. We have several. We have several women in the DC project that are left leaning, and uh, we try. You know, we don't want it to be a partisan issue. It's just kind of obviously that way. Mm -hmm. uh, but 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 all of us, when we talk to each other, and we need to remember that they, we don't want to ostracize uh, the Democrats that do understand that this is a constitutional issue. Yeah, and the, I think there's a lot of. Uh, I, I think I agree with what Walter was saying. There's a lot of people out there who identify as Democrats, but they believe in guns. There's been this there's been this thing of like, oh, but this though, if you believe in guns, there's no way you can you can be a Democrat, which is not you know, it there's doesn't it, lot, it doesn't mesh. It doesn't it's not doesn't mesh with reality. There's right. a lot of people out there it's just like, Well, I just don't like politics. I just don't I just don't like to talk about it. I just don't like and, and I'm not a Democrat, I'm not this, I'm well, guess what? If you're not a Democrat, you're not a Republican Okay, you may be an independent, but what are you then? What you're uh, you're just a bump on a log that it's just gonna get you know, you get logs gonna get thrown in the fire eventually. <laughs> I mean you gotta you gotta take it you gotta pick a side. You can't be in the middle forever. You can't the middle won't get you anywhere. Walter, that's <laughs> and, actually a growing population, um, of people who used to be one side or the other. Um, when I was younger, I, I was a moderate Democrat, and then the Democratic Party started just shifting in the other direction, and you kind of are left kind of like homeless. So yeah. you 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 yeah. have this giant population of people who kind of are a silent. You know, we assume mm -hmm. everyone is progressive and believes in you know get rid of guns, but I, I think the people that are more you know believe in the constitutional rights. There's more people out there than we think. Yeah. All right. I mean, I personally switched over from being, and Florida has a crazy thing. Like, you either have to be a Democrat or Republican here in Florida. And for a long time, mm -hmm. I was registered as a Democrat. I just didn't uh, necessarily vote in that direction. And then I think mm -hmm. right before um, the 2016 elections, I was like, okay, I'm just going to switch over to this side. Because there's so many things. That, you saw a lot of people leaving uh, the Democratic Party for that reason. People were surprised. I think that this is an issue that does not have anything really to do with politics. It has to do with the Constitution, especially now that there's a lot of people out there. There's, so, for example, there's a lot of black people with everything currently happening saying, oh, I want the right to be armed. Well, you know, that, that, this is a thing. It's called the Second Amendment. <laughs> if you don't, you know, if you don't but do you something for you it, you won't have it. And, you can't go out and support, support the people that are, that are not for it. Yeah, you, can't think, go out to, you can't go out and support the people that don't believe in the Constitution. And that's who those people will vote for. Yeah. So they, it's, yeah. I don't know what you do, really. I mean, you know, I, I don't know how you fix it. Well, they I really can, don't. 
they can they are you know my my liberal women that like uh one of them is from california and i mean i love that she goes into um Kleinstein's office or Pelosi's office and and you know she can say I vote for you stop attacking mm -hmm. the second amendment but that's how we play that um have you had Maj Teray on you talked Absolutely. about the, oh my gosh love Maj she just came to Tulsa a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago Memorial Day right after Memorial Day weekend and we had a, a great time but yeah I'm I'm all for I love Maj in Oklahoma uh, man that's so awesome how yeah. did I miss this it's, no, this well, is it's amazing. <laughs> Must have been fun. It. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a far, far cry from Philly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.